The other line of product that we are dealing with is the Belize Jewels Fruit Box. This is something that is new on the pipeline. We deal with the small farmers, we buy the pulps from them, we package it, and then we have it for our local market. We deal with dragon fruit, we deal with passion fruit, we have um, sour sap and mango. These are the four commodities that we deal with at the moment. We have uh, the section of the uh, packing room section where the persons in charge of that do the packing. From the warehouse, then we have a um, salesman that do delivery. Um, they, he goes around, the salesman goes around getting orders. They play their orders and then we just ship it to those areas and then they distribute it. Our team in the marketing area has been doing different expos to ensure that uh, people in the tourism industry, hoteliers, uh, restaurateurs, can know the different uses of these pulse where they can do from pastries to ice cream to slushes to even mixed drinks for those people that enjoy their little mixed drinks. You can do piña coladas, you can do different margaritas with them. This is something that we are working hard on to ensure that we can reach the Caribbean market and even El Salvador market, which is on the target at the moment. We are working with our pulps with the Caribbean and El Salvador also. All of this is an effort to ensure that we have a market for these fruits that would otherwise have been wasted if we weren't doing the pulping at the moment. Dragon fruits. A farmer had over 15,000 pounds, I believe, so that's yeah, if someone did not come in and assist them. In almost $50,000 that farmer would have lost. In December, you want to enjoy a dragon fruit slush, you can have it. You want to do a dragon fruit cheesecake, you can make it because we are going to have that year round.